Let's speak about Yakutia, that uh, size of India, a federal state in Russia, which on the old map says Tartaria. Please do not mess up like other YouTubers do and say that everything is Tartaria. We've seen the, wo the women in this. Actually, they have like 1 million inhabitants. We've seen the women, which are beautiful, some of them. And temperatures in winter, minus 60 degrees or minus 76 Fahrenheit. <laughs> Let's say something anyway. Just gonna show some pictures. Yakutia, you can actually Google it. It's also called the, the Republic of Saka. It's pretty much like a country because Russia is like the states of America. 50 states in America, well, in Russia, about the same. I mean, in, in terms of like the, the government and all that stuff. Federal states, uh, look at that. I mean, you put this out there and people would say, oh, it's a movie. It's like uh, done in CGI. No, it's his, it's his reality. That's life in Yakutia or Saka and pretty much there's no summer there so you're messed up yeah oh there's a mammoth there don't believe it's real I mean yeah, I wish it was real but no yeah, mammoths actually come from uh, good places uh, by the way this is like close to Hyperborea and um, you know about the war of the gods when they use weapons and because of the weapons used and because of the bombings we have uh, the two extremes in this world we have the extreme of the deserts which is super hot and we have the extremes of North Siberia, and North Canada, and North States, and Alaska, and North Russia, and North Scandinavia, which is cold. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the brutalist uh, style, which was invented by the British, by the way, so it's not a Russian invention, it's not Stalinist, they just, like, cherished it, and they uh, approved it in their government. Um, and the people, yeah, and this is natural beauty there, yeah, and, and that's, like, natural, uh, how the snow and the ice gets on your eyes and stuff. And that's life. Look at the reindeers, Mr. Santa Claus. Hey. And, uh, yeah, just your normal life there, normal people, normal, like, um, uh, people living there their lives. So next time you're just gonna, like, uh, say, oh, I hate my life and stuff, or you, and you live probably in, like, um, uh, Florida or California, or like, I don't know, like um, Spain or like uh, Germany even, or the UK or whatever. I mean, I understand, you know, I understand you perfectly, but just like take a look at this video. Take a look at the pictures. Imagine if, you, if your house is this one, or even if you, if you live in, as a Mr. Nobody in one of these like Stalinist, brutalist type of British invented things. And um, yeah, next time you can actually choose your words wisely. That's what you do when you want to go for a walk, you know, because you live in Yakutia. There's a city in Yakutia, actually. I'm not even sure if it's in Yakutia or not. Called called Arkhangelsk or Arkhangelsk, and uh, the sun never, you never see the sun there. So, and yeah, public transport. That's life there, man. You just you just get used to it. That's like you don't say there. Oh, I'm not gonna go outside because it's bad weather. No, you have to go outside every day because every day is bad weather. So, um, and cold. Let's say hello uh, to this uh, Tovarish Kamarad. Um, in the in the way of the old ways of the old Cold War and stuff, and normal people, you know, some of them well, they're not uh, quite, you know, like the like the girls we've seen before. But hey, I mean, you have to you have to show everything, right? Um, and of course, the market with meat. There's no problem there with the meat. I mean, everything is frozen there because it's so cold. So just like enjoy. Uh, that's just a normal day to work. You know, a normal day every day to work. It's just like that. Um, yeah, uh, they go the style. You know the tart, the wrongly called Tartarian, which is the churches with these like antennas for the use of uh, energy, and of course the uh, brutalist Stalinist Soviet, which is by the way invented by the British, by the UK, uh, Great Britain. Hey, I know I know British people don't like that, but hey, I have to say the truth. Natural beauty, definitely. Like you said, that Mongolian type of Tartarian thing. Um, this reminds me of Star Wars. I don't know why from the movies. Uh, oh, poor mammoth, you know, why do you, why, why don't you just stay put in Hyperborea, which is just north from the, oh, I forgot, they bombed everything, you know, the, it's only like frozen water and stuff, um, yeah, and uh, what else, what else, so just like showing you natural life, natural people, every day, look at that, that's how the sky is all the time, and people just live their lives, you know, they just, well, go with it, wow, look at that, I feel like in one of those post-apocalyptic zombie movies with uh, nuclear winter, um, ah, let's say hello to Tavarash again from the backside. Uh, reminds me of North Korea. <laughs> and uh, yeah, kids playing there for them is just something normal, you know. They have electricity all the time, they have heating all the time, buses and trams and uh, schools and everything works. Remember, like in, in European countries and American countries, and they, they close schools for like a week or so because winters are too harsh, like in New York or like in London or like in, in Madrid or like Rome or whatever. Well, guys, I mean, these people, you know, like the winters we live through are nothing compared to nine months or ten months a year of this so um 
or at least six months like like severe and look at the cars you know they use like cars from the 80s or the 70s and they work just fine um they're just like you know living in a building like these in like one of those concrete stalinist invented by the british type building so and just wait for the bus to come take it to work yeah just another day in paradise in white paradise the land of the um I'm actually thinking if I actually go there and I say, hey, I'm a foreigner. I would like to speak Russian and learn Russian. Maybe I'm going to make lots of friends because nobody goes there. Like literally, nobody goes there. We're going to say, are you out of your mind? Why do you come to Yakutia? Well, I've seen some pictures of uh, beautiful Asian women. So I might say, well, uh, you know, uh, what, what, what we do just to go and explore um, uh, the, the natural beauties of this world. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna get really depressed, and especially when I have to like just like go with this tram. So this is a trolley bus or a trolley tram. Actually, it works with electricity. Okay, so I know you don't, you're not used to this, but this is something common in in uh, post-Soviet and f former Soviet countries and uh, countries that were like uh, so-called like uh, on the other side of the curtain, you know, of the Iron Curtain. Uh, very advanced, to be honest, by the way. Um, so they have electricity just like that. You know, it's just something normal there and yeah everything is functioning all right and properly and nobody's like always complaining about oh this on that and, you know, and of course like some of the places are like really poor i mean you look at this and you just like get in full depression mode like chronicle depressed and super mega awesome on the ground and i want to go i want to get out of here but anyway you know not everything can be perfect you know milka i don't know why why this is there anyway milka yeah i like this maybe there was like uh, this was like a promotion for something or an ad or whatever and yeah, that's your daily life. Imagine, imagine yourself and watch this video. I don't, I don't, I don't care if you're like from America or like Europe or whatever or another, another country. And you, let's say you're a, a common mortal being and you live in this building, which is like a Stalinist, brutalist concrete invented by the British type of building. And you live, um, you live here, and I live here, and your neighbor lives here, and we 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 yell at each other, "Hey, what's up?" And they, ah, I don't care, leave me alone. I'm on the internet. Uh, there's nothing I can do outside, so I'm just like, I'm, I'm going to stay on the internet here. And of course, this is given to you for free by the Russian government because that's something normal there. So the Russian government gives everybody a home. Uh, so you have like your own like little fat there in the corner, uh, which is like very cheap. And you just like, you know, it's yours for the rest of your life. And that's how you spend your daily lives and every day. So, hey, so next time you feel like a piece of you know what, just watch these pictures. Hey, let's say hello to Tavarosh Kamarad, like in other countries. Um, and just uh, feel, you know, feel the pictures, feel the cold, feel the minus 60 degrees centigrade or like minus 76 Fahrenheit. And just uh, say thank you for living in some other, in a different place, you know, and especially if you live like in California, Florida, Spain, Italy, or like even in the States, man, like in other places, even if you live in New York or whatever. And I know there's some, some harsh winters in New York, but don't compare them to the former, what we see on the maps, Tartaria, which is now today called um, the Republic of Sakha or Yakutia. One million inhabitants the, uh, and the, the territory is the size of India. So there you go. Imagine that, the size of India and only have one million people living there. And India has like 1.3 billion. So 1,300 million and natural beauty so i will see you guys in the next video take care so here we are in the north of russia and that's what you see from the trains traveling there the aurora borealis which are actually the gases from the ionosphere interacting with the electromagnetic lights uh, being the sun or something else uh via vibes of cosmos has explained this a lot on their channel but anyway let's see some beautiful pictures as well i mean this is something that you actually see from the train if you're a train driver if you're an engine driver these trains uh, that uh, travel on the spinning globe with curved water in space uh, and, and it's just beautiful but just let, let's enjoy take it in and this is yakutia yakutia is the size of india and it's in russia and it's in the north and this is just amazing and that's train transportation for you there this is like um something that leaves other nations very behind right so train transportation in russia and yakutia is much cheaper than automobile than car and people travel with these, these trains like for hours there's even, even like a train track that goes for like two days over two days from one region to another like from one city to another and it's always snowing there it's always super cold and we could learn a lot from the russians like the russians look at look at them Proper civilization, proper technology in a place of the world where it's always freezing freaking cold. And not to mention that um, 
you know uh, there the, there's lots of like people with asian aspect in yakutia because you know uh, we have to go back to the reset of humanity and the what was before Tartaria and again don't mistake Tartaria from the actual regional geographical place with the whole empire that was across the world but that's a different story also when I see this picture the first thing that comes to my head is how the heck is this possible on a spinning globe earth with curved water and in this case curved ice and snow in um in uh, yeah in, in the world yeah so the train is traveling and the world the world is spinning and obviously the theory of gravity to keeps everything in place right yeah sure and the bridges by the way there's no electric electricity there so everything is made um, works with fossils like with fossil fuel right what we call like coal and petrol and stuff so yeah look at that look at that this is the closest place to the oceans that then you can go to hyperborea and yeah that's something that uh, imagine if you're just lost there if you get lost there and if you have no transportation the size of India, Yakutia is the size, uh, the size of India, and imagine, imagine what would happen to you. And I'm sure there's definitely like wild wolves and bears there. But the, the, the trains, the trains are a blessing for humanity, man, for human civilization. I mean, if it wasn't for the trains, obviously, we would be able to like use it for like traveling via air, right? But we're not allowed to travel via air, so we have to travel terrestrial, uh, terrestrially. So. Imagine like the trains are really, really a blessing for these regions. If it wasn't for the trains, then um, and obviously these trains, when they travel, the Earth spins in space with curved water at uh, sixteen hundred kilometers or one thousand miles, and obviously that's something normal, you know. And yeah, let's finish this with okay. The, again, the gases in the ionosphere that interact with the electromagnetism, which is present, and also the sun, which is electromagnetic as well. You should uh, follow the other videos I did before, but that doesn't mean that you can't just enjoy the beauty of it all. And um, what was the other picture I really... Oh, this caused a shock into my face, especially because we live on a spinning globe, spinning in space with curved water at 1000 miles per hour speed or 1600 kilometers, and we never we never get kicked by a meteorite or something else. So yeah, and the train just travels like that. And, and the train doesn't fall from the tracks because hey, the theory of gravity, which is very inferior to law, you know, a theory is imagination, fake fantasy, laws are the ones like perspective and density, but I'm not gonna go in there anymore because just enjoy the pictures, enjoy Yakutia, enjoy the place where you would freeze to death if you don't go prepared, and they speak Russian, and there's uh, beautiful Asian women there, yeah, which by the way, they look totally different from the Asians you would see in Korea or Japan or China, but they do look similar though, it's just so amazing, I mean, Russia is just Russia, what can you say? You say Russia and you go, and you go like, respect, man. You no, know, it's one of the only countries in the world, even when you speak English or like we speak another language, um, usually lots of things come to mind to people, like stereotyping when you speak about Russia. But the thing that comes to my mind when I speak about Russia is respect. I mean, you can think of many other things, but the first thing that comes to my mind when I see this, and we saw the video before with like the winter village and stuff, man, imagine living there for the rest of your life, for the whole life. I mean, since you were born until you die. It's just respect man people yell and scream and moan in other countries when you have like five centimeters of snow like three inches of snow um you tell me uh, anyway i'll see you guys i hope you enjoy the pictures and i'll see you guys in the next video take care